Welcome to Upstate New York, Syracuse University, and under the dome today, we have a terrific clash in store. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Virginia Tech Hokies, taking on a fellow ACC opponent, the Syracuse Orange. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Hokies will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it out. It's Haynes. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. set for a first down play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They'll leave it with him. Can't get him to the ground. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Here we go. Here we go. Looking for a man. It's McCord. Throws to the tight end. Got him downfield. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. First and 10. Leaves it with the running back. Plows through the defense. And this running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, yeah, you know what? Let his talent do the rest. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Off the play fake. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. And I know it wasn't successful there, but you can go back to last week. Like, they're going to throw this man the football. They, they, they find creative ways to get him the ball. Really good coaches get their playmakers the ball in space. And that's what I like about this offense. I bet they come back to him and find a way to throw him the football some more. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. He'll let one go down the right side. Give him six. Touchdown, Syracuse. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. And he's out of bounds at the 24, a yard short of where he would have wound up with the touchback. The offense lining up for a first down play. Hand off from the gun. And that defense pushing him out of bounds after a short game. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all up. And he breaks into the open. Oh, and he ruins the big gator with a fumble. And they put it on the deck, but it gets out of bounds to avoid the turnover. 
You know, fumbles really just comes down to luck. Oblong-shaped ball just can bounce any which way whatsoever. The offense right there, very lucky that one went out of bounds. He wants to throw. Pulls it in. It's Lane. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, the defense needs to find a way to slow this guy down. We're only in the first quarter, and already this guy has over 100 yards receiving. They have got to find an answer for him. Quick completion to the right. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Second and goal coming up. Quarterback wedging it in there on the quarterback sneak. Wedges, pushes, and he's over and in for the touchdown. Yeah, and they got stuffed on first and goal, and they said, let's go to old feet. Like, let's get the quarterback under center, run quarterback sneak, make this defense stop. It's such a hard play to stop, and the offense gets the touchdown. And he knocked that one right down the middle. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills, and they've got it at the receiver position. So, if you've got one on one matchups, man, take advantage. Let's see what they've got on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. On third and long, he'll have to turn it loose deep. Dances away to buy time. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody on the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Makes a move. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. How big is this drive? He scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. The Hokies are in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Drones. Firing to the right, complete. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Really nice 
job on the defense, keeping everything in front of you in that situation and rallying to the football. And now you're rewarded with third down. So we'll see on this next play if they do the same thing here or if they sell out and bring the points. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his spot. But the ball pops out on the return. Maybe some nerves on that return, but a fortunate bounce, and they'll retain possession. Wow, they narrowly avoid disaster there. They fumble the kick return, and if that goes to the other team, all the momentum is no longer with them. So a nice job being able to pounce back on that. And the head coach breathing a huge sigh of relief. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. On second down, he'll fire. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300-pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to them, and they forced the incompletion. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw, it's McCord. They're trying to get to it. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Yeah, and on money down defensively, you got to find ways to affect the quarterback. Nice job by the defense getting the pressure, getting to him, getting a hit on him, and forcing the incompletion, and now forcing the fourth down. Slips through the line. Boom. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. We're about to get another look at this hokey offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Now on second down after the incompletion. Now the play fake. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Just inside the 40-yard line, it's first and 10 from the 39. He's going to pass. Throws for the tight end. And that ball is picked off. Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands him the ball at the 32. Timing has to be so good. You're throwing into his own defense over the middle of the field. The ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. Gonna run it. It's Allen. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Scanning the field, it's McCord. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender, understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go, and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves them with a third and six. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got a man. It's Pena. And he picks up enough for the first down. We'll see if they get another snap here in the first quarter. Hey, 
Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Gives it to the back on the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next, and to the next, and to the next. The offensive line, they have to do a lot better job, give them some more space so we can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. And his molars are probably rattling after that big hit, but he did get the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Get it out on the screen. Showing off that power as he plows ahead to the 38. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game. But when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking handoffs. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Bringing it back. The interception stopped the threat, and the return even better as he crosses midfield and gets it to the 49. It's really hard when that quarterback gets outside the pocket because it cuts off half of the field. Once he starts to roll out, everybody starts to sprint to the other side of the field. You know you're not going to throw it across your body going to the right. Great job by the defense closing it off and making the interception. Using the quick game. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. Unleashes to the end zone. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. To the air, it's Drones. Looking for the score! Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. He's being a little reckless with that football. Threw the interception last time and almost threw another one here. Golly, that's best back-to-back -back drives got to have your quarterback making smart decisions. You can't turn the football over. He's got to get those cobwebs out of his head, start dialing it in. On third down, going up top. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the quarterback's in the pocket, and he decides to take off and scramble and just couldn't get to the first down marker. You can tell he wanted to pass the football. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe he scrambled a little bit too soon, but usually when you take off, you better know you're going to get close to that first down marker or get it. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And that will extend their lead even further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. New Mexico has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe inside University Stadium. They're up by seven over BYU. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking downfield, it's McCord. He's got his man. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. 
pressure coming. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. You want to talk about aggressive or nuts? This offense is staying on the field inside their own 30. And as he throws, makes the grab well past the sticks. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. Syracuse ready to go to work with another first down. From the shotgun, the inside give. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Fires it down the seam. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. This defense giving up ground, and he's finally knocked down at the 26. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Dropping back, it's McCord. Unloads to the wideout. He caught it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Cutes. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Coming out with it, it's Keith. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards. And we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open ball. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QV. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were. That's why they got the first down. Quickly complete. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. The aerial assault continues. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. He finds his man. Touchdown, Hokies! 
And they take it in for six more points. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skilled players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last run. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Orange have the ball back and ready to go to work. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in a second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Gonna throw it over the top of the D. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. And what a massive play for the offense. Not only getting the football across the 50, but they've now put themselves in position to steal a few more points here before the half. Looking for a man, it's McCord. They're bringing heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. After misfiring, it's second down. Here we go. He's looking to throw. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. A nice job by the quarterback there. You're outside the pocket. Nobody's open, so you throw the ball away knowing that you still have more chances to get this first down. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Feeling some heat. Another incompletion on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Oh, and he missed it. No good. But there is a flag down, and he might get another shot at this one. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. They'll run it out of the shotgun. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He's looking for an open man on second down. Caught on the outside, it's Ross Simmons. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Well, when you're throwing these out routes, guys, it's location, location, location. As a QB, you've got to put that out in front of your guy so he can make the catch. You put that behind him, that might be getting picked. Nice job there by the QB. Looking to throw, it's McCord. Getting some heat. Avoids pressure. And the defense is there. He got away for a second, but not for long as they knock him down for a loss. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And in the waning seconds of the first half, they'll try to put up three before going to the break. Not a chance. Missed it. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. Still a 10-point game. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Syracuse has it teed up, ready to kick off and start this second half. Fair catch called for and made. And we're about to get another look at this Hokie offense. 
They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with him. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Hokies have it with a first and ten. They go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. If the Hokies can keep this up in the passing game, that'll make them touch that Hokie stone with a little more enthusiasm. Yeah, it'll get them jacked up. It'll get them excited. A lot of times with Virginia Tech, man, we've seen it. It's the defense. It's the special teams. But when they can get that QB throwing the ball down the field and create some balance, it's when they have their best teams. Complete to the right. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. They've got the lead in trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in week 10. This dude is just running amok for the Hokies, both through the air and on the ground. He's just doing some serious damage. And, and whether it's running, whether it's throwing, this guy has been on point, making you think of some great names like Mike Vick back in the day that just electrified Virginia Tech fans. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Syracuse offense heads back onto the field after giving up that score. Now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. Going for the big play. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. Now on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Yeah, and that's a timing route. You throw those out routes to your receivers, and, and he gets out of his break, and he gets his head around. And ideally, you want him to get his head around right in time to catch that football. And you could just tell he didn't get comfortable, didn't get his hands around, his head around in the right time. And he just gets a drop. Pocket starts to collapse. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. Touchdown, Hokies! How about that D coming up with a play like that? This is a defense that prides themselves on getting turnovers, and it starts with the pass rush. It was the hit on the quarterback that forced the throw to not be as accurate as the QB would have liked. Nice job in the back end, securing the interception, and then taking it the distance. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. New Mexico has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe inside University Stadium. They're up by 10 over BYU. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. 
the run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner goes down. have the ball back and ready to go to work. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking downfield, it's McCord. Zings it complete to the right. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a... He lets one fly deep. He found open space. The band might as well start playing. And the extra point was good to finish things off. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. Fielded in the end zone. It's Heath. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here. Pass on the way, it's picked off! A return there would have just been icing on the cake. They'll just have to settle for the cake at the 23. Just such a nice job by him understanding his responsibility in that cover two zone scheme. He's just floating over the middle of the field. He's just very aware of tight ends and running backs around him. And as soon as he sees color, as soon as he sees me, and he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Well, that play just took a lot of time to develop. The longer the quarterback held on to the football, the longer the time that strong safety had to just think, you know what, I know I'm supposed to be back here covering, but I'm gonna go get myself involved. And he shows you his speed as he was able to close the gap. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Buying some time. He's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Syracuse! And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but has held really strong, put up some good numbers. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. We're about to get another look at this hokey offense. 
Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lined up. Uncorks one to the middle. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Looking to throw, it's Drones. Looking left. And that is interception number three on the day. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The defense was in cover, too, which means they had two safeties playing deep, and they took everything away from the quarterback vertically, forcing him to have to try to check it down. And a great job by the linebacker, jumping the throw and getting the pick. He's looking to throw it. Turns it loose. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Right place, right time. Linebackers are usually big physical guys you see play the run a lot. Hard to get two interceptions in a game. Special player making special plays. Looking to move it through the air. He's going to throw deep right side. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. The Hokies will hustle to the line. The defense has not had an answer for this guy today. Already over 150 yards receiving. That time, the ball falls incomplete. But we haven't seen that happen too often today. Got it. In the middle, it's Fitzgerald. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Really nice looking pass there. I'll tell you, they ask you to do a lot at Virginia Tech when you're the quarterback. You're expected to make plays with your feet because of some of the greats that have come before you, but you've also got to be able to hurt defenses throwing it as well. The entire playbook is open and at your disposal. And this guy right now, he's showing you with his arm talent, he can carve up this defense. Well, the timing on that throw and on the route was just convoluted and messed up from the beginning. And you see quarterbacks and, and wide receivers in the offseason always working on timing and always working on throwing on air. But when you put a defense in front of them, now things start to speed up a little bit. A lot of times, you'll see these little mistakes and where it looks like just they're not on the same page all the time. He'll try to do it himself. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Back to pass, it's Drones. Fires to the big fella. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's gonna be a touch short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. He'll keep it on the sneak. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. He wants to throw. Coming after it. He gets rid of it, but I don't think they're going to let him get away with that. Nope, here comes the flag. Sixth play of the drive coming up. He's back to throw on second down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play.
On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. A dangerous cover man and a dangerous return man after the pick as he gets it all the way to the 44-yard line. The most frustrating thing I see in football is when teams give up and they quit and they wave the white flag. It drives me nuts. You're on the field. Your job is to stop them. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. It doesn't matter how much time is left. Keep fighting. Keep grinding. You never know what can happen. Maybe you get hot. Maybe you make an all-time comeback. Here's the handoff. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Syracuse right back at him. That, that's a really nice game. It just would have been really nice to see this from this offense earlier. Now you're getting to the point where there's a couple of thought processes. Do I build momentum for next week? Do I try to get this offense the ground game clicking? Or do I throw the football every play and try to make this football game close? Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Here we go. Back to pass. It's McCord. Trying to get to him. He just throws it away, and I think the flag's going to be coming in. There it is. Trying to pick up a first down. Quarterback will audible. Gorilla, gorilla. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Finds his man. It's Pena. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Logger, logger. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the right. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. Tell you what, it gets late in the football game, man. I got to start being aggressive. When, I, when I'm in a hole and, and the clock's running out, like it's going to make me have to throw the football, be more aggressive. And this offense doesn't come through for their team. And now they're going to really need their defense to get some stops here in this football game in the fourth quarter. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't overlay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You gotta go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You gotta do a better job on the perimeter. It's not gonna be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You gotta go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. To the air, it's drawn. Right down the middle. It's caught. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the score. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Little touch pass to the receiver. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on. He hurls one deep down the left side. He's got it. Touchdown, Hokey. And the route is on. That lead a little more comfortable now as they close in on extending this winning streak. The kick is good, but the penalty flag indicates we've got a roughing the kicker call coming. 
The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. This will not be returnable as it sails out of the back of the end zone. offense arrow, arrow. Lasso. he's gonna pass caught over the middle it's Pena they stop him just short of the first down but it will be second and inches coming up from the gun they'll try the middle and he gets the first down but man did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Steps away to find some room. He'll fire to his right. And it's caught inside the 15. Just making a huge play, and he sets him up all the way down at the 14. I just continue to be impressed watching this guy play. Good decision-making, very accurate. He's obviously got a lot of talent surrounding him, so no surprise with that last completion. He's now over 3,000 yards on the year. With the catch, it's Ross Simmons. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Syracuse right back at it. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Cukes. Ready to try the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They put together a five-play, 75-yard drive. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over. But they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. And the ball will make it into the end zone. No return on that one for a touchback. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They have dropped a hush on this entire stadium, David, by controlling this game. And there's nothing like shutting up the home crowd. You love it. Nothing like having a big lead in the fourth quarter, Palmer, and not having to stress or worry. Yeah, really impressive just seeing how they were able to take everything from the practice field this week and apply it to game day. They've been locked in all week with the game plan, running and throwing the football, man. This has been impressive. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. And the Hokies come to the line with a new set of downs. He wants to throw it again. Unloads it left. Nearly another interception. It'll be second down. Here comes the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Drones. They're trying to get to it. And that's gonna fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. They were really starting to put a drive together. But after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and 10. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, and you don't see very many quarterback hits on screens. You know, the offense wants to bluff real quick and make it look like pass, and the quarterback's supposed to pop up, look like pass, and quickly get rid of it. You could tell timing all wrong. It was all jacked up, and that play went absolutely nowhere. And it's knocked away, and they don't convert on fourth down. You know, there are a lot of people watching this game that are thinking to themselves, where's the sportsmanship? You're blowing this team out. Why are you going for it on fourth? Why not just punt, give it back, and just leave here with a double? 
That's because this coach wants his guys to keep executing. I play for a coach. Going up top. And that makes five interceptions in this one. The nightmare is alive. He is finally out of bounds, but he was smelling that end zone on that return. Heat up them pass rushers, bringing them DBs. That's what I'm doing in this situation. When I got the lead by a couple scores late in the ball game in the fourth quarter, I'm going to rush the passer like crazy. I'm going to put all those DBs back playing the pass. That's what happened. Great job understanding they're going to have to take shots. We get the interception. This one's almost over. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. They'll give it to him again. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll give it to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To throw, it's Drones. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! And the stomping has commenced. This team just knows how to finish. They keep getting better and better and better, and they are close to going 9-0. And you knew this one was over already, but how about an exclamation point to go with it? Another score for this offense. They've had themselves a great day, and the stats just continue to pile up. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They'll get this drive going from the 17. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Moving out of the pocket. Finds a tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. This offense has a second down play. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. He wants to throw here on second down. He's going up top here late in the game. And he throws yet another interception. Does he know which colored jerseys they're wearing? The number one objective for our defense is to make the offense one dimension. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. When we get to the offseason and they start having coaching clinics,